I'm Olive Betsy Morehouse Remington, and 400 years ago, my ancestor, Francis Cook, and his son, eight-year-old son, John, came here on the Mayflower, came to the New World, and gratefully, they survived that first terrible winter, because if they hadn't, I wouldn't be here today. They sent for their family three years later, and they settled in Plymouth and had a good life there, and then eventually, their descendants worked their way through Vermont to the Adirondacks, and that's how my family came to be in this area. I was born in June 1890 in Indian Lake, where my father had a general store. I was very good in school, so gratefully I was able to go to Albany Business College, and I graduated in 1907. Three years later, I met and married a young man named Lee Remington, who was from Mill Creek in the Johnsburg area. And we had one son, George. I had such a terrible time through my pregnancy. I lost a lot of weight. And uh, Lee promised that we would never do that again. We, uh, when, John, when George was little, we worked as caretakers of the Adirondack Great Camp Pine Knot um, on Racket Lake, built by William Durant. It was wonderful, interesting work, but it was very isolating. The only way you could get to Pine Knot at that time was by water. So when it came time for George to go to school, we decided to move back into town. And we eventually settled in a little house on the corner of Smith and Ridge Streets in Warrensburg, just up the hill from the grist mill. I had chickens and flour and vegetable gardens, so I always had chores to do. When I was inside, I was canning and preparing things for the winter so we would have things to eat. My husband Lee was trained at mortuary school in Chicago, but he never pursued that profession. He was a skilled carpenter and, and a wonderful outdoorsman, so he provided for us in many, many ways. And he trained our son a great deal about the outdoors, which served him very well because when he was a young man, he worked for a time for Pack Forest in the Conservation Corps, and then eventually followed in my footsteps and went to Albany Business College and became a businessman. Later in life, my degree allowed me to be bookkeeper and secretary at Pasco & Son Oil Company on River Street. I had three beautiful grandchildren, Elizabeth, Betsy, and Thomas. Uh, I stayed busy with knitting and crocheting, and I always enjoyed a good game of Michigan poker when I had the opportunity. I passed in June 1972 in my 80s. We had a wonderful life here in Warrensburg. All the way from the Mayflower, I am so glad we settled here.